where the boomer shines and we have a dream of moving ourselves, our two kids and our two kittens onto a boat and doing the great loop. But first, we gotta find a boat. So this is episode three of our boat shopping for the perfect great American loop boat. VBS episode three. So what are we looking at today, Mark? Today I'm gonna show you a 2005 Viking Princess Flybridge. Okay. I thought about this one because a friend of ours has a uh, princess, a big boat. Glasses on. Yeah. Um, Ooh. And this is a Viking princess. So that is. 575,000. 574,990. 575. 575. Is the list price. Yeah. Just, yeah. And she is technically LOA of 61 feet. That's the length. Yes, length overall. Uh, the Which is a little long. We, I would, we may or may not be able to get that insured. Tiny bit long, but who knows? You never know till you ask. 16 okay. foot beam, so right in the middle of okay. things. Maximum draft, four foot four. That's awesome. What's her height above water? It doesn't say. Okay. Uh, we have uh, three cabins. She goes 30 knots. So Ooh. she's more of a um, cruiser. And she has three heads. And she nice. has three heads. All right, okay, so let's we, look at her. Let's look at her from the outside. So more of a European look. Not super shippy, doesn't <clears> have a covered walk around. But a nice aft area I'm gonna show you. Doesn't okay. have dinghy storage, but um, I've seen others where they put a davit here on the transom. Okay. And then they extend this, or you just do a, you know, a raising, lowering. You're gonna like the bunny pad. I already like up the bunny there. pad. And I like the height seems great because it's got the kind of the, I'm going to call it the flimsy it's bimini the versus the hard top. Soft top bimini. Okay. Yeah. It feels flimsy versus a hard top, but that'll let us get under the bridges. Now this rear, because once again, what's our air height, honey? 19. <laughs> you almost said nine again. 19 feet, six inch max air height. Okay, let's yeah. keep going. Okay, so she's got a nice bunny pad up front that looks like it leans forward, which Mama would like. And yeah, it leans forward. And what I, what I like about this is that it's got like serious ground tackle, so it's it's more of a um, cruiser look, but it's got more shippy. But, and Viking makes all the big sport fishers, so this is seaworthy. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right, so this is a 16 foot beam. We're looking, we've looked at wider boats, but um, it's airy for being a 16 foot uh -huh. beam. Uh-huh, the sofas look comfy. Yeah, so you've got your true wraparound sofa. What'd you call them, snuggerific I or want something? a snuggerific sofa. On the on the snugger, snuggerific scale, you know, if you're going one to 10, that's probably a six, but it's not a one. Okay. That's and my, it's a new scale of device, snuggerific. Snuggerific. A 10 would be something that you just sink into and you're just like, oh, so comfy. Like that's comfy, it's not hard, like a dinette. But. Yeah, and they face each other so you okay. can have a nice conversation area. And Notice, there's some floor space. Mm -hmm, two helm chairs up there, so that's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, the woodwork and joinery looks really nice. Not my personal taste, but, it's, but it is beautiful. I bet you this does something. Doesn't that look like that converts yeah. into something? Okay. Ooh, okay, you like the snuggerific scale might have gone up a little bit. I didn't realize mm -hmm. it was a U. And look at these built-in, look at that built-in lamp right See, there. See, in my cool. dream world, I'd reupholster in a little bit of a more sophisticated fabric with vertical channeling to kind of like bring out the 80s vibe. That's a lot of reupholstering though. I know, but that's just the way I think. So I like this step here, how it's space saving. Uh-huh. Okay. And those are good, legit, you know, I like the wine glasses. Up. It comes with a bottle of wine. Okay. And a dinette, so you've stuffed, stepped up right behind the helm on, now you're on the port side. And what do you think? One, two, three, four, five people? Yeah, we could probably get five of us on there. And But the tricky part is with the step down right there, it'd be hard to like pull up a another chair on the other side. One of us usually likes to stand and eat. <laughs> What dinner party have you ever been to where you Oh sit yeah, and we're eat? hosting all these dinner parties. <laughs> okay. All right, galley down. You step down. This is across from the dinette. You step down in here, which I actually kind of like. Oh, and it's got this cool railing and glass and everything. So you're kind of in a hole, you're in but a hole. you're still part of the party. I'm down with that. But if you're underway, you know, it's kind of like a galley okay. kitchen. Let's you got four burner stove. Here are the refrigerators over here. Underneath. With these two hasps. So I guess fridge freezer. Okay. Not huge, but not tiny. Doable. Double basin sink right there with the built-in countertop thing. Yeah, the cutting board on top of the sink. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. And some storage there. Not a huge fan of the countertop, but that is easy to change. Okay, ooh, double cushy seats. Double cushy seats, pilot house door. I'm not sure if it's on both sides. Okay. Nice big, this looks substantial, right? It's got the tiniest nice steering wipers. wheel. That is funny. It's like a little sports car steering wheel. It's not what I want on my yacht or my ship. I want like a... A destroyer wheel. Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. That looks like a sports car steering wheel. Well, I think that's kind of the vibe they're going for. Who knows? Uh, it looks like digital controllers here. There, eh, did you, did, old North Star what, plotter. Do you know what technically qualifies as a yacht? Anything over 40 feet. Uh-huh, fascinating, right? You don't think of a 40 foot boat as a yacht, but technically it is. Okay. I'm not a fan, I like centerline helms. This is over to the starboard side. I don't know why, that's just weird. But then if you get your little remote control, do me a hit you. Oh, you mean a yacht controller? Oh. <laughs> okay, I set you up for that one. Didn't <laughs> even realize. Look, it comes with it. Just everything you need that manages the engines, both port and starboard, and the front and rear thrusters, and I don't know just, what that is. Maybe for, even winch cables for the. Just for the record, uh -huh. that concept is incredible. You will lose that controller. It has a lanyard that goes around your neck. Do you even own a set of keys for our car? Moving on. Okay, yeah, Let's not turn this have, into a family <laughs> bickering therapy okay, session. Stairs down. The, stairs okay, so the down. The helmet's right above that bed. Yeah, hang a right, and so you're on the starboard side, and so this is the yes. master. Oh, that's the master. So what's interesting here is master across the hall on the port side are the kids, and then in the bow is the nanny guest. But all together. All together. Okay. So that's the master. Okay. Pretty sizable I for mean, being on one side of the boat. I give I give these people props for having a proper down down duvet. Oh, you do like that. I do like that. I don't like the bedspreads that come on beds. There's the nanny suite. Okay. The and there's the kids. That's fun. But tutor the slash here. guest. Yes. So maybe in front of this cabinet, there's an area for the kids to sit and play, build Legos, be away from us. Okay. Go to your room. Okay. Once again, airy. Nice big airy feel. I like it. I like it too. Curvy swoopy. It does feel airy and not like you're in a cave. Oh! oh the fly bridge. No, that's the back. That's the app. <gasps> Cockpit There's my dinner painting party. Area. That's your dinner party. Uh -huh. And you got a legit table. Now it's built on the engine hatch, but I don't have a problem with that. If this is all lightweight aluminum, we've seen these. Okay, so that's not going to make it hard this to This folds in out. half. See? Uh huh. Oh, that's great. You like great. that? That looks big and deep and maybe photographic trickery. Photographic Pretty trickery. good overhang. Now, oh, flybridge, like U-shaped seating, fly. dinner party upstairs. Uh -huh, that's cocktail What right do you right think there. built in right here? Oh, it's gonna be a grill with a mirror. The grill. Does it have mirrors? Oh, and oh. look, a bunny pad and a lifeboat. Oh, it so, doesn't have the mirror! <laughs> so right behind the helm, I can be cooking up some mahi-mahi and then literally just flip around and serve it up. Right here, so you're here. And once again, this is all under a bimini. So our air height so is, the air height is really great. low. The draw is this great. This is pretty low. We don't need satellite. So if you get rid of these and all you do is unbolt this guy. Why don't we need satellite? Because we're going to use cellular instead? Mm -hmm. There are some places where I don't think cellular works on real well on the loop, okay, on the well, rivers. We'll figure that out. And the settee, look at this, on the starboard side. This goes the whole length, but there is, that's an individual seat. You step up right here. So that's all one big entertaining oh, Mark, area. I really like this boat. Oh, I really said that. I really like this boat. Grill. Little tiny wheel again. Cow, you little steering wheel. And bow seating. Okay. You can work out here, right? You put some. I don't want to. I want to be able to work out at night, not outside. Okay. But I, it looks like the kids can run around. Like you right? know, in, in my dream scenario, I'd have a place where I could put like a the mirror fitness thing, and I would have my own mirror like workout class in the boat with. Us. I know the perfect boat for that. An eighty foot yacht. <laughs> so there she is from the side. Now I can show you, there's some others. This is a 
2005. Are there newer versions? No, but they're older versions for less. So let's just look at this 2000 model. Okay. Same they length. also make a 56 foot, but it's not as good. But let's look at this. This is in Lighthouse, Lighthouse Point, Florida. So the height and the depth is really much bigger concern than the 60 feet, right? And is the 60, is that's length overall. So that includes the swim platform. Yeah. Okay, okay. so this one, oh, not for sale for US residents. Anyway, we can work around that if we want to love it. Max draft, five foot two. So why is that one so much deeper? So probably the other people didn't get it quite right. But let's say it's four, See, four, are, four, these six. These are the things you gotta check. And you Yacht gotta really dig into is it. Is not always accurate. It's the internet. The I internet think there's some lies. listing brokers who just kind of throw some stuff on there. All right, so this one looks a little bit different, but basically the same. But let's look at look how big the aft area is. Okay. This one has a larger swim platform. So, you, but it doesn't wah into the water. No. But, but you could put a full dinghy there. Oh yeah. But look at. And okay, can, so there's this isn't as pretty. But it's the same functionality. See okay. how it wraps around. Okay. Nice. There's the same grill. That's good. Great for painting. Doesn't have a table. We need to add a table. Okay. And this gives a good idea of the space again. I think this is great space. That is great space. That's like romp around room, rainy day. The kids can play down there. I mean, and they have covered it in plastic. So, you know, it's been sealed. I feel like they have vinyl wraps on their sofas. Stainless steel doors, that's nice and, I and bet you super yacht. underneath that sofa. That looks spacious. And then the kitchen is in that little mm -hmm. dip again. I don't mind that. Cause you're not in a hole like you are in the Hatteras. So look at all this space here. Uh -huh. And then look at all again, that back there. Open the windows if you're taking pictures so it looks light and bright. Yeah, look at that. These are selling tips by Cinda. I like that. Oh, this look like the back of an Eames chair. I'm not crazy about those. This one doesn't have yacht control. <laughs> similar, I'm not getting this one. Similar galley laid out a little bit differently. There's the dinette. That has a round table. Okay. This boat's $200,000 less than the other one and a few years older. That seems to be the master and the V-berth. I didn't love the master in the other one. What's the last year they made this, the Viking made this boat? I have no idea. I would like the newest version of this boat to look at. But at least we see the bathroom. See, that feels more spacious. It may be the same as the other one, but the Just camera is... Different photography? Yeah. So there's a little play area for the kids. Right oh, here. and it, you know, each one of them have their own head, which is really nice. Those are pretty big heads, actually. It's a 60 foot boat. It's got this European. Yeah, the kids are gonna be in our bathroom anyway. You know them. Oh, this has. So that'll become the cat bath. That's a combo. No, that's a washer and some funky dryer thing. Right? Or is that a central vac? Looks like it has central vac. I don't know what that is. Ah. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to figure that out. I have to have a washer and a dryer. The combo units do not work. One of the things on any of these that I'm a little dubious of are man diesels. Oh, they have man diesels? Yeah, which are amazing diesels, but very expensive and I think rare to find someone to work on. But anyway, the Viking Princess Sport Cruiser, going back to the it, original one. Uh-huh. You're a fan? I'm a big fan. It's not my preferred aesthetic, um, but the space is good. Yep. Okay, so to wrap up. The 2005 Viking Princess Flybridge or a Viking Princess Flybridge seems to be a fairly good one to keep in the running. I would love to get on that boat. That one I need to see more and it would it's a it's to me it's it's put it in the yes category. It has everything we need. I need to confirm it has a washer and dryer. Um, yeah, it's a lot of boat for the price. Mm -hmm. Put it in a yes column. Yay! All okay, right. what should we look at next? Next. Let us know and we'll check it out. So that's Virtual Boat Shopping VBS, VBS Episode, episode three. 3. Bam. Thanks for watching. Bye.